I don't know what happened. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, this is probably a Kintush bulb that has... been sprouting. Here I have some more bulbs. A Portulaca cutting that fell off. I don't know if it's gonna root. And here's some sort of Sansevieria. Uh, I got it for free at my nursery. I don't know what variety this is. And this hasn't rooted because I just got it. So we'll see. This is another type of sedum. I don't know what type, but it's beautiful. Can you see? It has some pink. It's beautiful. I love it. It's actually one of the newest additions to my collection. This shelf was actually um, given to me by my uncle way, way back, like 20 years ago or something. It used to have chips. And it needs to be painted. I'm sorry. It needs to be painted. So, this. Okay, let's go back. This is a pedilantus. This was actually broken because uh, the shelves fell off. And I was really sad. This is a beautiful plant. I had it indoors, but I read somewhere that if it doesn't get uh, cold, uh, it won't bloom. I want to replace it though with a, with another one. I don't know. This one over here is obviously Kitisus Lena. It will have orange flowers once it's bloomed. This is a beautiful, beautiful plant. It's actually cabbage or kale. I'm not sure. It's not supposed to be eaten, but it's so beautiful. Like, I thought it was uh, another type of plant. I thought it was a begonia, to be honest. Back here, we have a Pieris. Uh, silver sun, silver flame. And it has some, it's, it's been forming some blooms. This is my baby tears, I think it's Pia Glauca. And it's kind of long. Also beautiful. And back there, I don't know. Let's go. we have another Yagintosh. I love these plants. It also has a little baby, if you can see it. Right there. 
So, here at the bottom, I have a really sad looking piece lily. Um, I was supposed to bring this indoors, but since my balcony was infected and infested, I didn't want to take my chances with bugs and pests. So I've decided to leave it outdoors. I'm not sure how it's going to hold up throughout the winter, but we'll see. Here we, th we have impatience. This was really tormented by mealybugs and other pests, but it seems to be doing okay. And it still produced a lot of blooms and flowers. Here is my philodendron salum, I think. I'm so confused with the philodendron varieties, I'm not sure. But this also had mealybugs, so I didn't bring it indoors. Maybe I should, but I won't risk it. Here we have two cuttings of a cactus, succulent, I'm not sure, that Ola gave me. Again, make sure you check out her channel. She's an amazing person. Here's my, my beautiful Begonia Rex, which has been tormented by pests and wind but it seems to be producing some new growth and it looks healthy. When the shelf uh, fell, it broke a lot. Uh, it broke a lot of pieces and that made me sad, but it grows so fast, so I don't worry about that so much. Back there, we have a Ficus bengalensis, Audrey. I love this one. It's so beautiful. I almost broke this as well, but this survived. Begonia. It's so beautiful. The red under leaves and the spotted leaves. This is some type of philodendron. It's beautiful, but I have no idea what variety this is, so please help. It, ha it looks like a philodendron weapons or scadens, uh, but the leaves are much, much bigger. So, if you know what this is, let me know. Here we have our Datura trumpet, angel trumpet. This was not supposed to have any leaves because it's winter, but it's, it has some new growth as well. As you can see over here. This was also heavily uh, infected by white flies and mealybugs. I got it as a small plant, as you can see, it cost me six euros. This is my Magnolia, uh, the evergreen kind. This has been a little bit tormented, but not as much as the rest of the plants. And it has some new growth as well.
here my, my here is my ficus benjamina. I had it indoors. Uh, it has some new growth. It looks cool. This hasn't been infected or infested. Here we have a sad looking cat caper, caper, but it has some new growth, so I'm hopeful it will do okay. This is another Trachelostrum jasminoid. All of these plants have migrated over to my neighbors because they have um, a nest facing balcony so the light is brighter but that's okay this is another hardened bergia these are some fake plants this is a polygala multifolia this is supposed to be an easy and hardy one but this is my third polygala and probably my last i don't know they keep dying on, dying on me Here we have a Plubago. This is a semi evergreen. So, all the. Sorry, I almost dropped it. So, the browning is normal. But I've just noticed. But. I, I don't know what this is. I have noticed this nasty, nasty. Look at this. This is terrible. I hate them. They're on the hardened Bergio leaves because they intertwine with the Plubago one. I honestly don't know what to do. It's so frustrating. Anyway, this is one of my most, most favorite plants ever this is a philodendron congo i think it has the new sprout is red and then it has this big 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 uh, shiny leaves this is a little bit tormented by the wind but nothing serious I would have brought it inside, but again, I'm scared. Yuki's checking my plans. This is my baby monster, which, which is not a baby anymore. It's grown so big. Yay! Look at this. Look at this beauty. I love it. It got some split leaves and the, the, they're growing so big. I love it. This hasn't been affected at all. Here's my umbrella plant, Orsha Flara. Those spikes. Seriously. It has some big leaves and it needs to be cleaned. This is a gift I got from Olga. Again, how many times do I have to tell you? She's amazing. This is a birthday gift. It's an euphorbia or crown of thorns, I believe. Beautiful. This is a dead teff cream. This was heavily uh, infested and couldn't save it, unfortunately. This is my berry mining bush, which I don't know if I love anymore. It's been a little bit invasive. It's also been affected by various pests and 
it's kind of aggressive. I don't know. I'm not sure I want to keep it. And I'm not sure it's going to produce any berries anyways because it needs to be in cold temperatures. We don't have those. So I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see. This is Amarilis. It has bloomed. Actually, not bloomed. It has produced some new leaves. But it's cold and I don't think she's going to have any flowers. I'm not sure. It did have flowers and was beautiful. These are more succulents. This is my elephant bush. I'm not sure if it's variegated or not because it has some red brim this I don't know what type of succulent this is but it's beautiful I love it it's like small roses this I also love again I will try and find the names but I'm not good with succulents This is Aeonium cutting, some more succulents, and as you can see, these dropped from Olga's clippings, this as well, and they're growing. This is my butt plant, and here's a teeny tiny Haworthian, I think. This is another type of euphorbia, which I have no idea what this is, and it's not looking good. I mean... Look at the leaves. They have some dark speckles. Can you guess what this is? Maybe I can treat it. Here is my oregano plant. It smells so delicious. And oh, what's this? There's something red in here. What's that? I'm sorry. This is not. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh my God, I. I had totally forgotten. Oh, that's a pepper. I had totally forgotten. I had planted a pepper plant in there. Oh, that's a surprise. Wow. Look at this. I don't know if I can eat that, but wow. So perfect. Wow. Okay. I got excited. This also looks like a teff cream. Like the one that died. Maybe. I'm hoping it is. Maybe it survived. I don't know. We'll see. I forgot to show you my kimono bush. Kimono bush. This is actually a deciduous plant, so it's normal, I think it's normal not to have any leaves, although this has been affected, so I'm not sure, we'll see. This is supposed to create blooms before the leaves during winter, this is, this is why, why it's called Himonanthos because himonas means winter in Greek and athos is bloom so it's winter bloom so yeah I think this is pretty much my entire 
balcony collection. I'll keep you guys updated on their growth. If you're interested, just let me know in the comments below. Also help me uh, figure out what to do with the pests. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This is another type of ficus. And I have no idea what this is. So I need help with this as well. So yeah, if you're interested in another video, just let me know. And until next time, keep on dreaming. Bye.